Hello. This is a lesson on the imaginary number. I will give you a brief history, the definition, and an example of how it works. At present, you have been told that you can't answer problems like the square root of negative 9. The imaginary number allows such problems to be solved. The definition of the imaginary number is the square root of negative 1, which is denoted with the symbol i. The imaginary number was first defined by Ralph Bombilli in 1572 and was called imaginary because mathematicians believed it didn't really exist. Descartes, a French philosopher and mathematician, coined the term imaginary in his book La Geometrie in 1637. The work of Leonard Euler and Carl Gauss in the 18th and 19th century brought on the belief that it had applications in the real world. In fact, the imaginary number has real applications in things such as electrical engineering and computer programming. Now let's try solving some problems. Since you know how to solve problems such as the square root of 9, it's easy to solve problems such as the square root of negative 9. Let's look at a problem. You have the square root of negative 9 which is equal to the square root of 9 times negative 1. You know that this is equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of negative 1. Now you know what the square root of 9 is, that's 3. And you know that the square root of negative 1 is represented by i. So you can plug in i for the square root of negative 1, which will give you the answer, which is 3i. Yay!